Hey guys, this is Pixel Dan reporting to you from C2E2, and I'm standing here with my good friend Brad Raider with the Battle Babies line. What's going on, Brad? Not much. Not much? Nothing? Man. <laughs> <laughs> Just sitting here in the crazy Nerd City booth, uh, drinking and toying and... Drinking and toying, because that's what happens at the Nerd City booth that's at C2E2. That's what happens at the Nerd City booth. <laughs> so you have a really fun and unique line of toys that I really wanted to kind of show off to the world here. So tell us, what are Battle Babies? They are babies that perpetually battle forever. That's all they just are. Just forever and ever. Forever. They're just found art. You know, like, if you look at a piece, you're going to see something you remember, a Battle Beast or a Motu piece or whatever. Right. Yeah. It's just, it's cool. It's like this crazy hodgepodge of different toys, like you said, vintage toys, you know, some just random stuff. They got the baby theme going on, which is yeah. really, really hilarious. It but was never intentional, it just kinda happened. Just kinda happened that way? Kinda how do you how does that come about? Well, there's uh, it started here with the grenade baby. Right. Uh, my wife and I found a bag that had this dinosaur, ravage missiles, a baby, and a grenade in it at a flea market for a quarter. So I took it home, I glued it together for no reason. Like, I'd never done it before, I just said, I'm gonna do this. Then I did like five more, 10 more. A uh, guy from Weirdo Toys bought some, and then like four years later, I've done like a thousand pieces, do gallery pieces, so. That's amazing, yes. It's and weird. I, I've got some in my collection, and they're just the craziest things. Like, I've got uh, at home one of my favorite pieces. It's like this crazy baby trap jaw yeah. riding a dinosaur. That was your buddy Sveen? Sveen Halleck. My good friend Sveen Halleck picked that up for me. I have a little baby beast man that's farting fire. He got that last year too. <laughs> yeah. It's some amazing stuff. And you just look at the table here and just see some of the crazy things you got. Like I picked up today a Star Wars Boba Fett figure with a Manny Faces head on it that was painted like the different bounty hunters. And here we have a baby Skeletor who's just exploding a baby He-Man with electricity. It's unstoppable power. These pieces are just amazing, and they're all unique, right? Like, you yeah, don't reproduce. Works. I mean, with Barker over here, the Manor Monster, we did, like, we've done a lot of stuff together. But, yeah, uh -huh. just that. So it's, a lot of this stuff is, like, original, really cool, unique pieces to add to your collection. And you guys have been setting up at conventions and places, yeah. but you have a site online that you sell yeah, this stuff Store to? Envy. Battle Babies Toy Art at Store Envy. Awesome. Is there any anything else, like anywhere else people can go to find out more information? I know you've got like comics and stuff too, right? Yeah, or stories? We're working, working on a comic right now with uh, getting a pitch together. So it's hopefully going to be pretty awesome. Got a lot of artists lined up. So Very, very cool. Well, guys, this is something just really fun and really unique. If you want something just original to add to your collection, these things are wacky and they're fun. And I'd highly recommend checking them out. So, Brad, thank you for taking the time to talk to us about your Battle Babies creation. I love them, man. Thanks, Dan. Problem, man. And there you go, guys. Right here from the Nerd City booth at C2E2, this is Pixel Dan reporting.